Hey guys, this is a quick open loop motor control demonstration using the simple FLC shield and ESP32 dev kit, a YUMN4234 drone motor with 7 pole pairs and a 12 volt power supply. I have already connected everything to the simple FLC shield and for this demonstration I'm going to be using GPIOs 25, 26 and 27 for the PWM signals A, B and C and GPIO 33 for the enable. I'm going to connect the ESP32 to my computer and turn on the power supply and the motor will start spinning. Since this is open loop control, if I hold the rotor, you can see it's shaking. This is because the rotor is trying to follow the signals that the ESP32 is sending to the shield. And since there is no position feedback, we don't know where the rotor is, so we're just hoping the rotor will follow what we're telling it to do. If I let go, it's going to continue spinning freely. The code for this demonstration is very simple and we're going to look it over right now. We first have to make sure we include the simple FOC library. Then we make a BLDC motor instance where we tell what GPIOs pins we're going to use for the PWM signals. In this case, it's as I said earlier, it's 25, 26 and 27. Then we tell how many pole pairs our motor has, in this case it's 7, and then we write what GPIO pin we want to use for the enable. In the void setup, we define our power supply voltage, in my case it's 12 volts. Then we have to set some limits, we set a voltage limit and a velocity limit. The motor I am using has a very low winding resistance, so I'm setting the voltage to limit to 1 volt to avoid drawing too much current and since this is open loop velocity control if we try to go too fast the rotor will go out of sync with the signal and to avoid that we set a velocity limit then we choose the control type, in this case it's velocity open loop but we could also do angular position open loop. Then we initialize the motor hardware and print that the motor is ready. We define a variable to set a target velocity, in this case I'm setting the target velocity to 1 radian over second and then in the void loop we tell the motor to move with this target velocity. Within the community it is recommended to try to spin your motor open loop before doing closed loop because the code and the hardware tend to be a little bit simpler. If you've got any question please leave it in the comments below.